Have a good one. Bye. All right, you too. Who we got? Remember, guys, I want your thoughts on the show tonight. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think about me reading the LGBTQ community? Okay. DJ Tyson. Oh, shit. Hey, DJ, how you doing? What's up? Oh, shit. How you How doing? How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Yeah, I, I watched a lot tonight. I mean, it ain't even about whether I liked it or not and all that stuff. Uh, you know where we stand for the R. Kelly situation. I, it's just with me, I just find it so strange that uh, when we talk about like the 17-year-old boy, this, that, and the other, why they didn't bring that stuff out when they had the first trial versus now? And my question to you is like the same energy you gave uh, R. Kelly when all that surviving Lua crap came out. Why Angelo ain't get that same smoke? Because he didn't lie on social mm -hmm. media to a lot of okay. people. And I did my homework research on everything. I had a two hour conversation with this guy and he said a lot of uh, things that didn't make sense. He said he wanted R. Kelly to get a record deal with his daughter. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean? and he wanted his daughter to do some music with him. He said it was just a bad business deal that went bad, you know. And I got the receipts to, you know, to, uh, you know, to back it up. What I'm saying, that's why I'm one of the most hated on these at my level, not your level, but at my level, I'm one of the most hated on these YouTube streets. Why are you hated? Because you capping for R. Kelly? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not capping. I mean, I'm just bringing the truth about what's going on with the case because on Facebook, Angelo called my phone and we had a two hour conversation and it's still on my Facebook to this day. And he was just talking to somebody he didn't even know, you know, and he just let it all out, you know? Yeah, that's what he, that's what he tends to do. He's very friendly. Yeah. Um, when it comes to Angelo, I do know that Azrael is a part of the trial and so I was trying to hold off on seeing what the outcome was before I dragged the ass. The outcome with what? Of the trial. I mean, but why wait to the outcome to try? You ain't get R. Kelly that same respect to wait to the outcome for him. And he was one of the ones that gave you the information. What was was R. Kelly? I mean, answer this question, DJ. Was he sleeping with underage girls? I mean, everybody knows. If he was, why he get convicted for it? Because the girl would not testify because she was living with him. Let me let me ask you this. But you didn't answer my question. But let me ask you your question. Let me also ask How you. How you gonna ask me a question? You didn't answer my question first. Now come on now. You used to having your way all the time. Let me have I'm my... not used to having my way. I just asked you a question. I let you talk. I didn't no. interrupt. No, a man is innocent until proven guilty. He went to court, they found him. They found him not guilty. Okay. You got a daughter? Yeah, I got a daughter. I got three of them. Okay. Any of them ever sleep with any older niggas? Uh, not to my knowledge. I mean, they grown. I mean, not okay. To my but if they were younger, if you had a twelve year old fucking a thirty year old man, and he never got convicted, would you get on camera to say? He's not guilty, although I know for a fact he was fucking my daughter. But but this is hearsay. We talking. About, I'm, I'm not gonna put my kids in. Our were, kids. Are you serious? There I'm are a, videos no, no, no. out there. Come on no, now. No, 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 you listen, didn't listen, see the video. Case, case. I know what you're trying to go there with. I'm what asking I'm a question. There was a case? video. No, he was no, kissing on no, a 14 year old girl. No, no. Yeah. Come on now. You know, you you know R. Kelly beat that case and they trying to throw that stuff back Why up. Why did he beat the case? Because they because the girl to... did not testify because he paid the family off who was working for him. This is public that, knowledge. That, 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 that and Sparkle's niece was still living that, 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 with him still, as a child. Listen, okay, listen to me. He still went to court and they found the man not guilty, Tasha K. How many white people that he went to beat court? Listen, okay, listen. I like how somebody said this in the chat. He beat the case. He didn't win it. He beat it. There's a difference, okay? okay? okay. But just because, case, but how many? Black, but, but let's talk about how many black men are okay. convicted of shit that they Public did not opinion. do Public because opinion. the court says they're guilty because they're black. They're guilty. Is that what you're trying to say? Listen to me. Public opinion is not the law. The law is the law. Public, Public opinion. Nigga, there were videos. There were videos. 
Okay, okay, well, let me let's go here with the baby. Azrael was 17 we, years old, 16 years old when he started fucking her. Listen, you, was you there? Was you there when he was fucking her? Are you she admitted it? Come on no, she, now. She, she said, DJ. Okay, no, DJ. she didn't talk to Kay. No, she didn't. DJ. I watched it. No, DJ. no, no. DJ, no, I, DJ, I've had conversations with Azrael. She started fucking him that's, when she was 16 years had. old. But what she said on Gail King, she did not have sex with R. Kelly. Oh, come on, they was lying. Years. So, oh, okay, so let's look she at her Gail oh, King oh, interview. Stop, stop. Give me, give What's me, give me, give me respect. Give me a second. I'm giving listen. you respect, but you can't okay. come up here. Ga you gaslight now. Listen, you gaslight me. You let me finish. Okay. Talk, listen, Azrael said she did not have sex with R. Kelly. At 17. She said on Gail King, right? Now let's go here. Even when she flipped on R. Kelly, she still didn't say she had sex with R. Kelly. When she went on that rampage through the whole social media bitch, she still did not say she had sex with R. Kelly. You know what she said? She said R. Kelly made her have sex with five different guys. Did you see that interview? Yeah. Okay then. Did you ever still say R. Kelly she had sex with R. Kelly? DJ. No, 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 DJ, DJ, let me, let me ask you a question. Let me ask, no, I'm, I'm responding to what you're just saying. I'm responding to what you're saying. She has sex with R. Kelly. Yes. So if R. Kelly made her have sex with five of the guys that were of age, that's still sex trafficking. but we don't, and if that's sex trafficking. Okay. But what I'm saying is if he had her made, have sex with five different guys, where's the five different guys that she alleged that he had made her have sex with? See, we can't say something and then we don't have the facts to prove it. Okay, so how do we know she's telling the truth on Gail King then? That's what I'm saying. How do you know okay. I tell you that? Okay, but why why would a young say? girl why would a young girl at 16 go and live with a grown man? She ain't fucking. What's she man, doing? Reading him a book at night? What the fuck? Come on now. We're gonna keep this real. The daddy play a part in this shit. Yeah, absolutely. The a fucking daddy, daddy play a part in this. this. Yeah, he let her go. And he signed the papers for her to motherfucking go. Anybody. And do you know Larry, the informant, is the one that got Azrael to flip on R. Kelly? Did you know that? I mean, Azrael was going to flip anyway. The money stopped. He no, went to jail. No, 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 no. But do you know they got something to do with that, her flipping on R. Kelly? No. An informant named Larry McGee was put out here by Angelo Clary to taunt all the R. Kelly supporters, such as myself, Threaten my family. I had to put a police report on dude, one on him, one on Angelo, because he talking about kids die, families do die. You never know who I might see in Houston that know you say, oh, that go that dude, because I was putting the truth about his ass. Did you know that? So if, the, if he so much telling the truth, why he got to threaten bloggers? Angelo always threatened bloggers. He yeah, still but, think he's a gangster. But, but, but the point I'm trying to make to you with this here, he is not no innocent Joe. I just felt like the same way you did R. Kelly, Angel should have got that same smoke because this is a lot he, of And stuff. what makes you think he's not gonna get that same smoke? Yeah, because it's a lot of receipts. Because I don't do it, because I don't do it on your time. No, I ain't saying no time or nobody time, but I'm saying it's a lot of things out there. You say you want to wait till the trial. You if that's the case, you could have waited till the trial came when it came for R. Kelly. No, nah, no, nah, I was I was reporting on live shit. Angelo no, was, sent his daughter. Angelo sent, sent his daughter to live with R. Kelly. OK, that has been reported on me and Angelo have had public words. So don't say that I have not dragged him. I just said I was going to wait on the receipts to drag him, which is they will conclude once the trial is over and his daughter gets on that stand to tell lies and truths. So don't try to tell me like when or, or how I should put it out. I've dragged him publicly. It's on this channel. No, no, no. What you said was and I was there. I watched all of your stuff. Okay. The, because the video that you put up there with the with him talking to Asriel, I mean, she read his blueprint right there. She said her daddy knew where she was. Of, of course he knew where ID. she was. He was talking to her the whole time. Yeah, but what I'm saying, though, for him to put out in the public that his daughter couldn't talk to nobody, that she was being held against her will, all this bullshit he was putting out there. That was false well, narrative. Well, Don Don Russell facilitated those phone calls. Well, between we ain't talking about Asriel. that. We talking okay. About so Asriel, no, none of the girls like, could have contact with their families unless he said so. They had to no, ask for permission. True. But as we the video that you played on your live that you got from my IG, she sat right next to her daddy, read the blueprint, and she sit up there and said, Dad, don't even start. I will call you four or five times out of the month. And every time she would call him, he would be bigger. So you played it on, you put it on your own channel. 
and everybody was watching it from my ass. Because she only called when R. Kelly gave her permission to call. <laughs> wouldn't you? Wouldn't she you be alarmed? That. But wouldn't you be alarmed if your daughter went off to live with a grown man and she could only talk to you when he said so? You see how you sitting side by side to me, Tasha? No, you're side you by side. You're all over well, the place. You see, how me, you see how my face side the screen of yours? That's okay. the same one she was with her daddy. And she sit up there and said these words. R. Kelly would say, is this your mother number? Is this your daddy number? Call them. And she said out of her own mouth, I will not call them because every time she would call them, they would be bigger than arguing. The same way with Joycelyn. When the that's what parents, argue, but that's what parents do. Don't you argue with your kids? But but she's saying, I'm, what I'm trying to tell you, Tasha K, you trying to First of all, Azrael is a confirmed liar. Oh, so God. you trying to say, Azrael saying this, Azrael saying that, Azrael don't know if she want him. She miss him. I read the emails. What she says is a lie. We know what went on between them. She was underage yeah. when she left. Okay. We, 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 would you we, would we you sign know. for your daughter to go live with a grown man? Well, first of all, I wouldn't even take my daughter to an R. Kelly concert at 17. He took the his daughter you to cap, concert. Where you capping for him? I don't know, DJ. No, it seems like you would take your daughter to a concert. Listen, listen, listen Tyson K, we're going to have a what's decent up? conversation. We're going to have a real we, conversation. What's okay? up? I got like now, people waiting, a, so we got to... We got an R. Kelly concert. And, okay. and, and his wife stood up there and said out of her own mouth that they took Azriel to the concert for right. her daddy's birthday. Her right. daddy's birthday wasn't until uh, June or whatever the case may be. Whatever her day of uh, Angelo birthday was, they took Azriel to the fucking fest for her daddy's birthday. Come on, man. And then y'all ain't gonna sit up here and tell me that some doctor said she needs to pursue her goddamn music career and her daddy take her to a goddamn concert? Who does that? I'm taking my child, my it. child, I'm taking my child to concerts. What's wrong with that? No, 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 no. What I'm saying is this here. You're not going to tell me they did not have Melissa's intent when it came to Robert Sylvester Kelly. You're not going to tell me that. First of all, it was R. Kelly's due diligence as a grown man, as an icon, to watch the company that he kept. R. Kelly is in this situation because of his failed Okay, but, but listen, because he I failed, he failed I, I himself. So we can sit here and blame these young girls no, no, all we no. want, but the facts are this is not the first time R. Kelly has been caught with underage girls, it is documented on camera. So let's just say hypothetically this, okay, DJ. This this, this is just this is just basic shit. You know that these motherfuckers are after you, you know that they're waiting on you to slip. But you still continue to fuck underage girls even after you be the case? Wouldn't you wouldn't you walk smooth? If you was this close to losing your life and having to register as a fucking sex offender, would you continue to fuck young girls? Let me say Unless something. Unless you're a predator. Let me let me say this here. R. Kelly is in this situation because he made the choice to fuck young women. He could have fucked any woman they, that he wanted to. He's not young fucking girls. Kelly. They, those but are they women. were, they can, were can, when they came. Now, Shanti they, McGee, uh, uh, what's the other motherfucking name? The other girl, uh, Lee, what's her name? Lisa. Shanti McGee, she's a grown woman. She wasn't exactly. Even she's enough. a grown woman, but we're talking about as she wasn't a. We're play. talking about Sparkle's niece. We're talking about John, uh, uh, not John, John what's Jeronda Pace? Oh, there, yeah. I mean, I can, I can, I can name the young girls one by one, one see, by but, one. But it's but, but you going by your public perception. What I'm trying to say is right now. I'm talking about the docu series itself. All that thirty years shit. I ain't going with all that. I'm going with going on right now. What's happening? But a they lot of predators that. have a history of preying on young women. Let, let, let me it's ask you. It's called this. Let me, D, can you make your closing statement? Okay, listen, we got to make a closing statement. We got people waiting. They've been okay, waiting for This can be a last comment, please. Please, just make a <laughs> right, closing right. statement. I'm well, not going to argue with you. For, I'm not going to challenge. Uh, thank but you, you got for the floor. Me a chance to, uh, no problem. Speak my piece on your channel. All right? And free R. Kelly, period. Okay, no problem. Oh, damn, you think he was sucking his dick or something the way he got. <laughs> okay, who's next? I'm Teresa, Teresa how, how you doing? I'm sorry about that, Teresa. Thank you for your patience and thank you to everybody uh, waiting. I apologize about that. What's going on? No problem, girl. So I have a comment to make, and I know that it's not going to be good with probably any of your viewers. That's fine. 
there's a narrative that that's, that's being pushed in the United States of America. Okay. And the narrative is